Hello my dear family members, thank you all for this much love and enthusiasm in my contents. If you keep appreciating my works then my efficiency will be increased by 2x times. By the way, if you access the playlist of action chart then your reply will also be same. Anyway, today we will solve an advanced coding question which was asked on 17th November 2023. And you know, the question is very easy but most of the candidates leave the question. Okay, let's see what's the question. Actually, the question is regarding sum of circular primes in a range. Uh, I hope this is not properly visible. Just let me clear it. Actually, uh, the input consists of two lines. The first line con contains a uh, minimum range and the se second line contains a uh, maximum range. And you have to calculate the sum of all circular primes in the range, right? So let me clear it more. Let's see the sample input. So 60 is the minimum range and 80 is the maximum range, right? So what are the primes in between 60 and 80? Those are 61, uh, 67 and sorry, 71, 73, 79. Yes. So among those, find such numbers which is a uh, circular prime. That means here 71. 73 and 79 are circular prime why because if you rotate them i mean 73 is itself a prime number but if you rotate then 73 becomes 37 and 71 becomes 17 and 79 becomes 97 so all the rotated uh, version of those prime number also a prime number that's why these are circular primes but if you rotate 67 this becomes 76 if you rotate 61 this becomes 16 so these are not prime so we will not include those in our sum right so at then after calculating the circular prime you have to add all the values and return the sum right okay let's see the second input that is 100 is the minimum range and 200 is the maximum range and in between you have many uh, prime numbers but we will not take all of them we will just take the uh, rotated i mean uh, only circular prime numbers what are those uh, so actually those are 113 131 and 197 i think sorry one more value that is 179 okay so if you rotate all of them i mean 113 if you rotate from last to first that means 311 this is also a prime if you rotate from middle to last to first then it's also prime number that means 197 is a prime number 917 is also a prime number 971 is also a prime number right so this is why we are calling them a circular prime that means you have to rotate all the uh, all the prime numbers and you have to check all the rotated version of the number also prime if also they then uh, store them in a list and sum of all them right so this is how we will solve the problem and if you add them we get 640 is the answer i mean the output right so i hope you understood the problem right so if you understood then please solve the problem by yourself and check if you are ready to sit for exam or not right Okay, let's see the solution in Python at first, then we'll solve the problem in Java as well, right? So what should be our approach to the solution? Actually, we have to at first calculate if the number is prime or not, right? So if prime, then uh, rotate all the prime numbers, right? Rotate, uh, I mean, uh, store all the rotated version of the prime numbers in a list. Then uh, we will calculate among the prime numbers if those are calc if, if those are a uh, circular prime or not right and then we will uh, we will sum all of the circular primes right so i hope you understood actually we will define four function to solve the problem so at first let me define is prime uh, n right and uh, we will define def generate rotation generate rotation by which we will rotate all the prime numbers right so num and def circle each circular prime we will check if 
the prime number is circular prime or not right if circular prime so here also num and in the last prime last function we will check uh, the sum right df sorry def sum prime right okay uh, here we should take the range start and end right okay uh, let me just start writing the code from each prime i hope you know how to find prime number right the number which is divisible by one and itself those are prime uh, even if you don't understand then please watch the recent video on which i have explained the how to calculate prime number right okay so if the number n is less than 2 that means this is not prime so we will return false right okay. to get the solution in optimized time we will iterate through all the element from 2 to square root of the number right so for i in range 2 to square root of the number that means n 0 0.5 right plus 1 Okay, you, you could have used the math.sqrt function, but I, ju I just used it, okay. Now, we will check if n mod i is equal to is equal to 0, if this, that means this is not a prime number. That means the number is divisible by other than 0 and the number itself, right? Okay, okay. now just out of the for loop return true, that means the number is a prime number, right? Okay, now what is our task? That is, we have to generate the rotations of prime number, right? Okay, so uh, at the end of the function, we will return a list of rotates, rotated numbers, right? Okay, now to manipulate uh, the number or for manipulation purpose, we have to convert the number into string. So, str num is equal to str num and we converted the integer into a string but in java we will use integer dot two string to convert the integer into a string now we will store all the rotated uh, numbers in a list so for that we have to at first take an empty list uh, rotations right okay now just uh, iterate from 0 to the length of str num and we will find the rotated number how we will uh, take the rotated number okay let's see so for i in range length of the str num okay by slicing we will get all the rotated number in python in java we will use substring to get all the rotated number right so rotation is equal to str num of i is to plus str num is to i that means let's say the number is 113 so at first i is equal to 0 and we are adding up to i that means i minus 1 so 113 at first then i is equal to 1 so 1 3 1 then we are uh, i is equal to 2 so 3 1 1 this way it is rotating and we are we will append that rotated version into rotations list right okay so we have to rot we have to append that right so rotations dot append the rotation right okay so we will append the integer version of the uh, rotated uh, number so for that integer convert that into integer right okay everything is fine just now return the rotation list out of the for loop right okay sorry return rotations rotations right okay now it is fine now we have to calculate if the rotated number is circular prime or not right okay so so what we have to do here that is we have to store all the rotations of the number in list and we have to check if all the numbers are prime or not okay so if all the rotations are prime that means this is a circular prime okay so for that we have to rotation rotations list is equal to generate rotation 
just I am calling the previous function generate rotation right generate rotation num fine so this is how we are storing all the rotations of the number in rotations list right okay now return all the numbers all just let me write the code i am explaining what i am doing okay so is prime is prime the number or rotation for rot in range or rot in rotations right okay so what we have done here actually uh, we are iterating from all the element of the rotations list and uh, in this list we are checking if all the elements uh, all the rotations are prime or not okay and this all what is this doing actually it is uh, confirming that all the elements are prime all the rotations are prime if single rotations is not prime then it will return false right so it is ensuring that all the elements you are iterating from 0 to the last element of the rotations list all are prime right okay now just add all the circular primes from start to end then we will get our desired output right so for that circular prime circular prime is equal to we will uh, take a list right so i for i in range sorry i in range start to end start to end plus one because plus one is not included okay when only if this is a circular prime right circular prime okay the i fine now just return the sum of circular prime will see our desired output right circular prime okay so what we have done that is we, have, we just stored all the circular primes in circular prime list right okay so what we have to do now just write the driver code right so start is equal to int input and end is equal to int input and just call the last function sum prime right okay so print print sum prime from start to end right okay let's run it and see if this gives the right output or not so 60 to 80 output should be 223 right and it is right okay now just uh take 100 to 200 output should, should be 640 right and it is okay if you want to see the circular primes or the rotations let's at first see the circular primes right so prime sorry print the circular prime okay now we'll see the circular primes what are the circular primes so 100 to 200 and the circular primes are 113 131 197 and 199 right so actually this should be 199 right forgive me for that because i have told that 179 is a circular prime because 199 is a circular prime right okay so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used in python so if you didn't understand then please let me know in the comment section right okay so now we'll solve the problem in java but before we proceed to the java solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture and if you want to discuss more then please join our telegram channel t.me slash ubikanna and you if you want to get the placement materials then please contact me at instagram and just knock me okay okay let's see the solution in java so actually i have written the code because this is full fully same logic and quite same 90 percent same logic same 90 percent same syntax as i used here right okay so what we had done that is uh, we had defined is prime generate rotations is circular prime and some circular prime functions as we have defined in python right and the same logic if n less than 2 then we return false and we are iterating from 2 to the square root of the number and we are checking if n is divided by i then we will return false that means this is not a prime and out of the for loop we are returning true if this is uh, true then we will 
will say that it, this is a prime number right okay now we will generate a rotations uh, then uh, this is actually a list or array okay now uh, we are storing the string format of the number we are converting the number integer number into a string by integer dot two string and we are storing all the rotations uh, in this uh, rotations list rotations array right and we are iterating from 0 to the length of the str num okay now just we are uh, uh, using substring to rotate all the strings i hope you have watched the explanation while i was explaining in python actually uh, substring is quite same as slicing right we are just converting we are just uh, rotating the number by substring from i to 0 comma i right okay then we are converting that into integer and storing that into rotations array right and at the end we are returning the rotations array right and then we are checking if this is a circular prime or not so at first we are storing all the um, all the elements all the rotated version of the number in rotations list and we are iterating from all the elements of rotations and checking if the current element is uh, is uh, prime or not right so if prime then uh, if not prime then we are returning false if prime then we are returning true right okay now we are adding all the values from start to end right so end sum is equal to zero at first and we are just adding all the value from start to end of the circular prime list okay so now just call the function and check if this is right or not so let me run it so 223 and let's say the number is 100 and 200 then output should be 640 right and it is right so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used in java as well so if you want more such solution then please subscribe this channel and share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this and they can also take job with you right so thank you for today's session